joining us. Get ready for the NBA here on 2K Sports. Friday Hoops Fest coming up next. It's the away team going up against the home team. And that'll do it from the studio. Let's get you out to Kevin Harlan and the rest of the 2K Sports broadcast crew at the arena. I'll see you back here at halftime. Hello everyone, great to have you with us. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. And now a quick check of our starting lineups for both teams. He's thrilled for this one. Everyone will be watching now how he does in his first NBA official game. Then it's Thompson. And for the home team... Passes it to Aguilar. He feeds it to Lewis. Lock at six. Aguilar passes it to Lewis. For the three. The shot is off. Outside Anthony. Don't let him shoot that. Number three, Lewis covering. Good. Took advantage of some shoddy defense there. They've got to at least get a finger on it. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Hey, Kevin. I had a chance to catch up with the visiting team's head coach. Dictating the pace and making sure that pace is up-tempo is what he's hoping they can do in this one. He said, we're fast, we know it, and we're going to make sure they know it, too. Thanks, Doris. And just over a minute played here in the start of the game. Number 24. Number 34. And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. He was the first one to react to that miss. Excellent anticipation on his part. A hustle play on the putback by him. First quarter of play with about a minute and a half gone. To the inside, Aguilar, nice pass, led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. It makes it so easy for your teammate when you can lead him with a pass like that one. Outside Anthony. Anthony with the screen on Lewis. Back to Anthony, five to shoot. Bangs home the trifecta. Anthony's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Gone two or three here to start out the game. Pass to Thompson. Let's it go from 11. Here's Aguilar. The layup off target. That's terrific defense right there to prevent from converting in close. Number 24. No, 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 no. Offensive rebound. Shot by Anthony, no good. Here's Thompson. They set the screen. 
Foul call. Looked like the D didn't get there in time, and he'll shoot free throws. Seems like he's got more floor burns than just about any player in the league because he will dive head first after any loose ball. No regard for personal safety. And you know what? He is also relentless on the boards. He works as hard on his rebounding as anybody you're going to see. He's off That's on the okay. first. You got one more. Good on the second free throw. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes play. Outside Anthony. Stolen by Thompson. Thompson right side. Lewis on the win. Let's the three fly. That is good. Lewis has got his first three points of the game. Gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. Pass to Anthony. Six to shoot. Steps back and fires. Thompson with the rebound. Difficult shot from mid range, and the defense was all over him. Oh, I like the close out there, Steve. Well done. Well, the defender was on him like glue, all up in his airspace. That's a very low percentage shot against that kind of defense. Yeah, you're right. Best not to force it when you've got someone draped all over you like that. You've got to move the ball on. And here's Anthony from the arc, number 24. It's rebounded by Stanley. He's been anything but his usual self this quarter. It's actually been ugly to see. Lewis, left side. No luck. His touch has disappeared on him this quarter. He just hasn't been able to get it going. Moving it up. The three from Anthony. And it's Anthony again missing. Gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Come to me, come to me. Fires it up. A quick shot there, and it's off target. What was the defense doing there? I mean, he is not the guy to give an open look to, and yet they got away with it. Gets it to go. And 33% here in the first quarter. Stan Lee, the pass to Thompson. Shot clock at six. Here's Stanley. And that one's on target from the wing. And 36% in this first quarter trying to get their bearings. Outside Anthony. Anthony left side. Four on the shot clock. Stolen. Stanley, the pass to Lewis. Thompson outside. He passes to Stanley. Brown. Outside Anthony. Knocks down the 10 footer. Anthony's got five now. Wow, this has been a thriller. I mean, the, the way these teams are battling, just going back and forth. Would you like to bet that this game may end on a buzzer beater? How much would you bet? <laughs> Stanley, the pass to Lewis. Aguilar, eight feet away. Rebounded by Anthony. Rebounding is going to be the focal point for them in this one, fellas. I can feel it. Yeah, it's a physical game, and so far the numbers show that they've got the edge on the glass. Oh, pop it! Just five to shoot. Check the clock, check the clock. Number 24. That one falls coming off Anthony's feet. You gotta love the use of the bounce pass there. Perfect feed.
gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Now the pass to Aguilar. This is to Lewis. Stanley, the pass to Thompson. Three pointer. No good from Stanley. Now defensively, they did a great job of staying tight on him. Guys, this offense very effective. Going right at him. And, and this is where you just start picking apart the defense. And, and now you take their confidence away. You can really take control of this game. Rejected by Aguiar. Clark, some tough offensive sets. They want to turn around. Yeah, they need a basket just to regain some momentum here, Kevin. Who's mad is that? The dish to Thompson. Six on the shot clock. Number 32. Another shot. Shot's good from Aguiar. Boy, what a great job making good on the second opportunity. He stayed with that play from start to finish. There's the feed to Anthony. From past the arc. The shot is off. 36% in this first quarter trying to get their bearings. Back to Thompson. Passes it to Stanley. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead. Being 40% here in the early stages. But Trey... And that one's good. He has five. He's hit the ground running here in the first, putting together a nice quarter offensively. Now Lewis. Get him! Pass to Aguilar. He dishes it to Thompson. Hit me, I'm open! From 12 shot feet out. Good on the jump shot. Really nice work inside there. He'll always give you a battle on the interior, guys. Gotten just two of six to fall from three-point range so far in the first. Outside Anthony. Number 24. And they get it back. Nice D from Slaughter. Good percentage shot, though. That's one they'll take any day of the week. Thompson passes to Stanley. Thompson. Just four to shoot. Get outside, get outside. Number 32. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. Anthony right side. The shot from the low post is good. Anthony's got seven. You know, he operates so well close to the bucket. There's nothing he likes more than seeing an opening inside. The pass to Stanley. Anthony with the defensive effort. Take a look at the rebound total, guys. That's plus five now on the glass. And Steve, I don't think there's any question which team came out with more energy and enthusiasm. No coverage that time. Not exactly how he wanted to start this game. Just two for seven, but maybe that shot will get him going a little bit. Thompson with it. He passes to Stanford. Dale Cruz, the pass to Slaughter. No good. Great work getting in the shooter's face and then getting back to the boards to grab the rebound. Smooth as silk on the finger roll. 
Now they're really doing a nice job of stringing together solid possessions and building that lead up. That's the key, Steve. They'll stay in control of this game if they can just avoid any lulls going forward. There's 49 seconds left here in the first quarter. Pass to Stan. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Six points for him. Yeah, beautiful drive there. Going right around the bigger man. He kicks it to Anthony. They set the pick. From the arc. Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got his third rebound of the night. Right through the D for the layup. Thompson's got five now. He's one of the best in the league at that. Even with just a tiny sliver, he always seems to find a way to get it up and in. Number nine. And he overshot that one, missing. And that does it for the first quarter. The home team, they lead by four. And we'll be back in just a moment with the start of the second quarter. All right, the second quarter beginning in just a moment. And guys, what's your take on the home team so far? Now, this team has done a nice job on the glass. I think that's how they've built this lead. They've been very physical, really established a presence in the paint. Well, they've chased down those balls. As soon as they've hit the iron, they've been chasing them down. That's been a solid effort by them. Zero. A three-pointer off the mark. Thompson with it. Okay, well, let's check in with Doris Burke reporting from our sideline in this game. Doris, take it away. Guys, last year, Dwayne Wade set a career high for field goal percentage at over 52%. D. Wade said, quote, back when I had the team, I was the top player. I had to shoot shots I wasn't comfortable with. I made some. I missed a lot. I have a different role on this team. I don't have the ball all the time, so I need to take shots that come and understand which shots are my shots. Kevin, you got to love the dedication to efficiency for the team's sake. I'm That's why right he's here. a champion, Doris. Thanks. Now, here's Thompson. How good from Slaughter. I thought he rushed it a little bit, guys, because he had a clean look, just lost his focus. Here's the pick. Number nine. Can't get it to go. Great D that time from Thompson. Gone one of three shooting so far. Puts up a three. They get the rebound. Number two. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. That was the third straight high percentage look this defense has allowed. I mean, these defenders have got to start bumping bodies in the paint. Be more physical. Be more aggressive. I agree, Clark, but it doesn't look like they have the will to do that at this moment. And here in the second, with about a minute and a half gone by. Number 24. Rebounded by Slaughter. Gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. Here's Mark. And unable there to get the go-ahead bucket. Gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. And King, here we go. Back in off the glass. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Pass to Slaughter. Number two. It's good. This game is all even. He has six. That is not enough coverage. Got to do better than that defensively. Basically, no coverage. I mean, defense did not look very good there. There's the pass to King. Here's Cruz. 
Great team that time from Slaughter. Gone two of six in the field in the second quarter so far. King against Thompson. Passes it to Slaughter. Backs him down. Lock at six. Off target from the baseline. Being a lackluster 38% for the game. Struggling so far. There's the screen. Zero. Kick out to King. Cruels it from outside. King's got five points in the quarter. Gotta love the inside out game there, guys. Gone one or two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far. Pass to Slaughter. Thompson outside. A stupendous finish in traffic. Thompson's got seven. Being just 29% in the second quarter, the offense is suffering. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played, there's the triple. Gets it to go. Seven points in the game. Boy, such outstanding patience and decision making for them offensively. Yeah, absolutely. Their ball movement has been outstanding. They are piling up the assists. Now, here's Thompson. Seven points in the game. Number two. Plenty of room to knock down the shot. Well, it looks like he's finally found his footing in this game. His first quarter was uh, a real struggle. Stay there, stay there, he's got to go now. Back to King. Down to five on the shot clock. Number 24. No good with the a poor shooting performance for him today, but luckily for them, a lot of his teammates have come through. Number 32. Get that, get that. If that misses, that would have put him up. And his mechanics are just all out of whack now. He just has no feel for his shot. Well, his numbers certainly back that fact up. I mean, he is going ice cold here. The pass to Cruz. King outside. Well, those chances are almost always two points for him. I, I guess the defense did what it had to do to bother him. It's Thompson off the drive. From 11 feet away, the shot misses. And the defense did a pretty good job of closing off the middle once he got inside the lane. Passes to Slaughter. The shot goes down and it gets this game back to even. Well, we've seen that more than a few times. An easy bucket in the lane. Yeah, the interior defense simply has been lifeless. Well, he's watching his club miss a lot of shots that they normally make, and that has to be frustrating. So uh, I think he's going to call this time out just to try to see if they can be more aggressive, get them to the free throw line. Maybe. Sometimes that's the best solution for him, but ultimately I think they'll be able to shoot themselves out of this slump. But in the meantime, maybe getting to the free throw line will help. Gone two of four from three point range so far in the second quarter. Back to King. Number 77. Nice fake, but the layup off the mark. Gone five of 12 from the field here in the second. Here's Lewis. And he misses the go ahead basket. Awesome defense. I mean, he'll hit those unless you're right in his grill. Pass to King. Number 24. Sinks the three-pointer. Ten points for him. Well, he's really starting to get in the flow now. A nice groove. That's his second here in the quarter. After none in the first. The pass to Aguilar. From about 16. Shots good. 
Gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight. Five of 12. <laughs> Pass to King. Shoot it. Number three. Off target with his three. Gone. Six of 14 shooting here in the second. Oh. Lewis attacking. Well, he's a gutty player, guys. I mean, he's given away a lot of inches, a few inches anyway, and he still finds a way to win those rebound battles. No good from King. Gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Lewis gets a screen from Aguio. Kicks it to Lewis. Shot clock at six. Pass to Jam. Let's it go. Thank you, Lauren. The follow-up flush. Oh, you got to like his shot selection today. He set a good example for the rest of his teammates. And the pass to King. Jacks up a three. And it's good. King's got eight points here in this quarter. He is really having a good quarter, a strong quarter, an efficient quarter, doing a lot of positive things out there. Who is outside? Who's up on the block? And it's off that. the glass and in. Lewis has got five. Four of their last five makes came off of a high-quality shot inside. Yeah, that's textbook basketball. Just having their way down low. Now here's King. He's got eight. Hit his leg. And the ref's whistling a kickball. Team has possession. And he's knocked off course by the D. The foul called. He'll shoot free throws. The first free throw is good. Good on both. Gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Now Lewis, five points in the game. Number 32. No good and tight defense there. Bothered that shot. Passes it to King. Stolen by Lewis. And now, running up the court, Lewis pushing it up, and the shot is good. Lewis has got four points this quarter. Boy, that was impressive, Clark. He did not hesitate to take the ball right up against the bigger defender. Boy, I like that aggressive mindset there, Steve. Back to King. Launches it. Boy, and that is a bunch of rebounds for a player who's not the biggest guy out there. Pass to Chen from downtown. Keep going. Good no go. Really good job on the inside that time. I mean, he had to work for that rebound, and he got it done. And it's good off the glass. And here is Lewis. Seven points in the game. Lewis gets a screen from Aguio. 
Lewis passes to Chan. Back to Lewis. Shot clock at five. From about 19 feet. No good off the back of the rim. Not even 50% from three-point range in the second quarter. Four for eight. Number 24. Lewis covering. Number 24. But they get it back. Lewis grabs the board. 41% from the field here in the second. Lewis gets a screen from Aguilar. And they will get the basket here, folks, as they rule goaltending. He didn't get to that one quite in time, Kevin. Those can be tough to gauge sometimes. That whistle got a big response from this crowd, and it is not a favorable one, let's say. I'll tell you what, the fans can't believe that they made that call. Gotten the three-point bug tonight. They've taken 15 shots outside the arc. They're 6 of 15. Outside, Anthony. Anthony left side. Just five on the clock. And that one's good. Fifty-one seconds left now here in the second. There's a good screen. The shot's good from Stan. He's got eight. Boy, that was a rugged screen set there, fellas, and the defense didn't even try to go through that one. Outside, Anthony. Double by Stanley. Number three. That three off the mark. Rebounds are split just about down the middle in this game, Clark. I'd venture to guess whichever team is able to maintain that energy level on the glass will have the upper hand the rest of the way. Here's Stanley. And the go-ahead bucket, no good. Number three. Cannot hit. And that'll do it for the first half. Game time. Well, folks, stay tuned for the halftime show with Damon Bruce for all the highlights from our first half. And now, brought to you by Sprint. Welcome, everybody. I'm Damon Bruce, and welcome to Halftime. Plenty of hustle from the home team. This is a disciplined team, and when it comes to boxing out, controlling the backboard with fundamental play, we've seen it so far. On the other side, the visitors looking pretty solid as well. They've been having their way inside. A huge lead when it comes to points in the paint, making it very hard to defend against them. That's it for me here in the studio. Time to send you back out to Kevin Harlan and the crew for the start of the third quarter. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. And it's been a back-and-forth game so far with no ground given through the first half. Third quarter starting here now. Thing has been wayward so far. Only 37% from the floor. Number 24. He's covered by Thompson. Gets it to go. 14 points for him. You know, with that much of a height advantage, that's exactly what you should do. Take it straight to the rim. Kick it out! Kick it out! Thompson right side. Uh, the shot will go. Excellent D there from Anthony. Number three. The putback slams it home for the putback. Those are exactly the kind of hustle plays that can really spark a team. That's solid work down in the paint area. And there's the pass to Aguilar. <clears throat> Rebounded by Anthony. Anthony's got four rebounds in this game. Second half of basketball just over a minute played so far. Shoot that, are you? Beyond the arc. The shot is off. Being 40% from the field. 
Fires for three. That's they right. grab their own miss. Here's hey. Lewis off target at the rim. Four straight misses. They've got to find a way to get back on track. Number three. He's covered by Thompson. Number three. A three-pointer is right on target. They got on this roll a while ago, and they just haven't looked back. Gone 0 of 4 from the field in the second half. Yet to find the mark. Thompson with it. Now Anthony defending. Here's Lewis. Shot is blocked. Number three, defended by Stanley. Feeds it to Anthony. Launches a three. That drops. Anthony's got ten points. That's a weapon they've been allowed to use at will today, Steve. I'll say the defense has been ineffective trying to run shooters off that three-point line. Well, they were getting run ragged out there. Good time for a timeout. Maybe it was even too late, but this club has to regroup now. Well, I tell you what, it wasn't pretty, and they definitely needed to take a minute to talk things over. Out of bounds and they retain possession you take a risk with those long passes they're lucky the D couldn't collect it the visitors with the ball nothing yet for them in the third quarter he feeds it to Lewis passes it to Stanley offensive struggles continue missing again it's a plus five advantage for them in the rebounding category after that board. Very steady work they've been doing on the interior. No question. And that's, uh, I think, the main reason they have this lead. Number 24. And a miss there on the triple. Boy, from my angle, it looked like it was in the bottom of the net. Looked good from here. Yeah, I thought so too, Clark. Good boy, good boy. Got that one up quick. Man, a pleasure to watch him work at that end of the floor gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Well, he sees something that, he's, that he doesn't like. Uh, I'm not sure what it is, but I think he's going to make some changes here. I think you've got to make your adjustments pretty quickly like he's doing here. Otherwise, you know, things can get out of hand. So this is a good timeout. Puts it up off the inbound, and he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. And defensively, they're starting to look for answers because ever since halftime, they've been disjointed out there. Stanley, the pass to Aguilar, clock at four. From about 16, cannot hit. It's been a real difficult game for him offensively, and it's costing him. Anthony on the wing. He's covered by Thompson. Number three. Off target from three-point range. Gone one or two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Pass to Lewis. Stanley covered by Anthony and a foul called on the shot got him on the way up that time so he'll shoot two right here great job taking right at the defense I like the aggressiveness yeah he left him no choice but to foul there the first one falls
All free throws good from Stanley. Gone five of nine on field goal attempts since halftime. This is it to Anthony. And a baseline jumper no good. Being a meager 37% for the game. It's Thompson off the drive. Outside Lewis. And that one's good. Lewis has got 10. That shot becomes effortless for him when the D is so relaxed. They've got to get more intense. Number 77, defended by Stanley. Number three. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Gone two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. And Thompson kicks to Lewis. To the paint, Aguilar. Inside, Leaner. No good. They set the pick. It is now to Anthony. Right there! I got yours! And the defense didn't have position. They whistle a blocking foul, and he'll go to the line. Check out the game for Anthony. Ten points, and he's done a little bit of work behind the arc. He's got a pair of three-pointers. Well, the defenders have that in the back of their minds now, too, so they're going to close out on him quicker. That should allow him to use the drive if he wants. And that one misses. And the second free throw, good. Well, he did enough there. He made it a two-possession game, at least. Watch out, son! Number 32. Drains it from beyond the arc. He's got six. All these open threes they're giving up have really been the driving force of this run. I agree, guys. And the points add up in a hurry when you start giving up easy looks from long range. Back to Anthony. Number nine, Lewis covering. Rejected by Slaughter. I got him! The feed to Thompson. Pass to Slaughter. For the tie. Can't get it to go. Gone 5 of 12 from the field since the third quarter got underway. That's the pick! Number 24, Lewis cover. Six to shoot. Check the clock, check the clock. Number 13. Shot, shot. It's rebounded by Slaughter. Been going here in the second half from outside, namely three to four from the arc. Lewis down there, and he hits it to tie the game up. Lewis has got five points now this quarter. Well, they certainly didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Well, that's important because this game, I think, is going to be decided by who controls the paint in crunch time. Can't get it to go. Gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight. Five of 12. The pass to Stanley. He dishes it to Lewis. Passes it to Stanley. A floater. Outside Anthony. It's rebounded by Stanley. And a pretty brutal 29% since the break. Outside for Lewis. He passes to Stanley. Lewis on the wing. Lewis gets a screen from Slaughter. Here's Stanley. Good on the three-point shot. He's got 13. Perfect screen there. Set him up with a nice look. 
Poor job by the defender to not fight over or around that screen. Anthony with it, picked up by Thompson. Number 24. The visitors with the ball. Three point lead. Watch the slaughter. The putback is no good. Nothing seems to be going down for him today. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. Good. Talk about doing a Rip Van Week on defense. Come on, guys, wake up. Why are they leaving him open at the three-point line? Come on. There's the pass to Stanley. Right, right. Rebounded by Anthony. Anthony's got his fifth rebound in this one. Well, if this game comes down to the rebounding battle, they'll be the ones coming out on top. Yeah, they've been really strong in the paint, battling the glass. Well, he's building a house with those bricks. I mean, one reason is he keeps trying to force it up when he's defended well. Move the ball. Share the sugar. Oh! Here's Stanley. Blocked. But they'll get another chance. Six on the shot clock. Can change shot. Number 32. That's good. Eight points for him. Well, his body control is what I notice. I think that jumps off the page when you watch him play, even with a defender draped all over. Uh, he's able to find a way to get to the rim and get the shot to go in. And something else he does is he's great off the dribble. He can take it to the rack or pull up. So as a defender, you don't know how to play him. Three-pointer. No good. Almost surprised that he had that much room to work with. They set the pick. Outside Anthony for the lead. Anthony's got seven points for the quarter. Third quarter, guys, and this has been a neck and neck game. Sure has been. I mean, guys, momentum is hard to come by in this one. I mean, it seems like one team gets the lead and then the other one storms right back. Yeah, that is evidenced by the eight lead changes we've seen so far. Shot on the wing. The shot misses. Gone four or six and three-point land since the start of the second half. Passes to Stanley. Shoot it. 136 left in the third. Number 32. Excellent D there from Anthony. Clark, one thing we've seen from these guys is excellent ball movement. And you love to see that, Kevin. I, mean, I love watching unselfish play, and I know Steve enjoys that, too. Yeah, that's the best part of the game. I mean, a five-man team game where the ball moves has so much unselfish play. It's beautiful to watch. They haven't been as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. They're playing smart with the lead. I like that. They're being very selective and deliberate in their offense. And that's a good strategy when you're on top. He's playing selfishly now, guys. He's just trying to get as many shots up as he can. Doesn't look at all concerned about his teammates. Anthony left shot. Number 34. Tips it up. Boy, look at the rebound totals. He is absolutely dominating out there. Well, that's been something to watch. My goodness. Number 14. Can't hit from the low block. 31% here in the third. Offensively, they are looking bleak. Number 24. And he knocks down the jumper. They got on this roll a while ago, and they just haven't looked back. Gotten the three-point bug tonight. They've taken 15 shots outside the arc. They're six of 15. Pass to stand. Shot clock at six. Number 14. They need this, and that's two points on the way up. That's right where they wanted to go with the ball on that possession. We're at the end of the third, and we've still got a close one. The home team leading by three. And right after this, we'll bring you the start of the final quarter right here on 2K Sports.
We welcome you back to what has been a good one here as we get into the fourth quarter. The visitors with the ball. It's a three-point game. Stanley defended by King. He kicks to Anthony. King outside. Number 34. That one rolling Reservoir. around and rims out. Gone two for seven. Struggling a bit. Number 32. Covered by Anthony. And that one's good. The defenders have to be aware. They cannot allow him that position before he catches the ball. You're exactly right, Steve. That is his domain. Fourth quarter of basketball. We're about a minute into it. King, left side. Lock it six. That's good. Nothing too fancy, just simple execution. That's getting the job done when they need to make every possession count. I agree, Clark. They need stops, and they can't afford any wasted possessions. Those inside shots are really high percentage looks. One more. One more. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here's Mark, and blocked. Tries to save it. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. You know, sometimes the intensity of the game can lead to brain-neutral plays like that, guys. And we've made our way through just over a minute and a half in this fourth quarter. To the middle, number 24, comes up empty down low. Gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Second minute off the clock now in the fourth, and that one's good. And that's a double-double for him now. Ten points and 14 rebounds. Guys, they're holding on to the slimmest of leads. And they can't afford to let it get any slimmer than what it is now, guys. Anthony up on top. How about, how about, how the Back to Anthony. Five on the clock. Nice open look, but it's no good. Gone two or four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Here's Mark. Chance there to take the lead. Missing. In Portland, just 35% so far. The drive by Anthony. Number 77. Hangs. He lays it in. You know, he didn't need to make the layup complicated. I mean, it's not a trick shot contest, but he decided to go for a little extra flavor on that one. Number 32. Target with the jump hook. Now he was right there, but the defensive pressure forced that miss. Well contested. That really made it a tough shot. Get there, get there. Bust it. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Number three, defended by Stanley, hits the bucket. A little confusion defensively. Yeah, you know what? He sent the D a little message with that three. Gotten the three-point bug tonight. They've taken 15 shots outside the arc. Six of 15. Get going. Come back, come back. Go straight. Number 32, 11 feet out, and he hits it. There's been a change in his game compared to what we saw in the first half. I mean, he's scoring with a lot of confidence now. Shoots the three. Number 34, and terrific work on the offensive glass, and he picks up two. Another strong rebound, just like we've gotten used to seeing from them today. Yeah, one or two more of those, and this lead will be double digits. And the pass to Stanley. Six to shoot. 
here's Mark. And that one hits back iron. Well, I think he kind of alligator armed that one, short stroke it. After doing a nice job to get open, he didn't finish the shot. Ball, ball. Takes the 13th footer, and the jumper is good. He's got 22. Gone three of eight here in the fourth quarter. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've had a number of empty ones a long time without a basket. They got to find some Well contested shot, and they did an excellent job of not fouling the shooter. Defense is about effort and commitment and discipline. He's a good defender because of those things. Number three. They get it again, and he banks in the layup. They got on this roll a while ago, and they just haven't looked back. And now we can see them really working it inside. Now, taking advantage of the defense, really pounding it down low. Well, he may just be trying to get a break in the action to clear their heads. You know, a lot of their shots are rimming out. You wonder if their confidence isn't suffering at this point. I think that's a good time to call a timeout. If a team has a few fall the wrong way for them, just burn a timeout and let them forget about it. Regroup, talk about it, and refocus. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Hi, Kevin. The head coach for the visiting team had some instruction for his guys during that last break. He really wants them to try to push the tempo here, see if they can get a few easy buckets in transition, saying, listen, we're playing station to station right now. Let's try to catch them off guard, guys. Let's see if they can do exactly that, Kevin. Little touch of class there, guys. The end of that play with the finger roll. Gone 6 or 12 from the field here in the fourth, and even 50%. Shot clock at six from 11 feet away. Rejected by Aguiar. Here's Lewis. Lewis gets a screen from Aguiar. De La Cruz loses the defender with the screen and drills the jumper. Their three-point percentage has taken a big leap up since the start of the second half. They're starting to find the ring. Steve, the lasers are starting to do their thing. That's going to be the ticket for them the rest of the way. Outside, Anthony. Number three, Lewis Cover. Shot from the wing. Anthony with the bucket. Anthony's got 11 points here in just the second half. Gone 5 of 11 from the field in the fourth quarter. Here's Stanley. And so here's the home team. Number 77, defended by Stanley. Outside Anthony. Five to shoot. Number 24. Can't get it to go. And at 42% in the final quarter. Stanley, the pass to Lewis. There's the bucket. Good. Gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Number three, Lewis covering. Six on the shot clock. Stolen by Lewis. Passes it to Stanley. The shot, no good. Gone, 7 to 15 from the four here in the fourth. Right around 46, 47%. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Gone only 6 of 14 from the field in the fourth. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting the lid off the basket so far. That's good. Nice pass there to set that bucket up. Yeah, guys, and that's 10 of their last 12 points now coming off of assists. 
Well, I, he sees something that he's that he doesn't like. Uh, I'm not sure what it is, but I think he's going to make some changes here. I think you've got to make your adjustments pretty quickly like he's doing here. Otherwise, you know, things can get out of hand. So this is a good timeout. Gone 8 of 16 from the field in the fourth, exactly 50%. Outside Anthony. Number three, Lewis Cover. Four on the clock. Back to Anthony. Here's the three. Put it back. Put it back. Number 34 hangs in midair and converts on the double clutch rail. And he's now got the double double. Ten points and 18 rebounds. Back to Thompson. Outside for Lewis. Whoops, anticipated the pass. Turnover. And good on the basket. Book it. This is a fantastic performance in this half. He didn't play as well in the first, but you know, you just know with this guy, he's always ready to turn it around. Now here's Lewis. Thompson outside. He passes to Stanley. Oh! And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. And the first one drops. And so he makes both from the line. 100% free throw shooting this half, guys. Efficiency is so crucial when you're trying to overcome a deficit, Steve. Number 24. Good boy, good boy. Number 34. It's rebounded by Aguiar. Boy, they needed that last rebound. They haven't done well on the boards overall, but that one was huge. Mm -hmm. Still fighting for the win here. Back to Lewis, and there's the turnover. Pass going out of bounds. Boy, they couldn't hook up there on what's really a pretty basic pass. pick kicks to Anthony gives him the lead pass stolen by Thompson it's stolen and here they come number three Lewis cover Shot clock at five. Clock, 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 clock. Number three. And too long on the shot. Well, I think he had all the space he needed. He just couldn't find the bottom of the net. Number 32. And it's blocked. Number 77. Lewis covering. Outside Anthony. Number three, defended by Stanley. Number three. They get it back, and they force the shot clock violation. Great D.
Lewis dishes to Thompson. Takes the 13-footer, gets it to go. The mid-range jumper becomes a pretty high percentage shot for him when he has that kind of space. And that's an intentional foul. Gone into a funk from downtown in the fourth. Only one of their five three-pointers has found the bottom of the bucket. First free throw missing for him. We'll see if he can nail the second. And he does get the second one. And that makes it a seven-point lead. Guys, what's your take? Well, talk all they want, but I just don't see a way for them to get back into the game here. You know what? I don't know if there's a 10-point play out there and that being the case this one is finna over seconds left in the fourth here's Aguilar no oh, good with the triple now here's King. And so they get the victory here at home. Both teams played well, but these guys had the edge. Yeah, I think so. They were just steak knife sharp. Very on top of their game here. Well said. Thanks for joining us for this presentation of NBA basketball on 2K Sports. For Doris Burke, Steve Curry, Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying see you next time. But first, let's check out the Jordan player of the game.